Alright, so this is an instructional video for the Obi Wan Kenobi OWK3 lightsaber by 89 Sabers. You can see. Let's put this aside. So, included in the box, of course, is the lightsaber itself. Also, I'll be providing a USB right angle um, charging cable, uh, data cable for access to the Christopher Cross 10 USB port. It's a good brand, basis. Um, charging cable. Um, this is this is to connect the recharge port to the 1865 smart charger that you should already have. If not, Amazon has some regular ones, some formal attachment that comes with the CPU charger. You do not need to use this. And most importantly, I'll be providing this seven seven and a half inch seven inch blade. Um, a lot of people have been asking for something like this, so it'd be very expensive to ship this alone. So I'm just going to package with this saber and have fun. So I'm not the best person. I mean, I, don't, I can't say I make very good blades, but um, if you're interested to look for some longer blades, check out um, those, some of the SC shop. I know Saber Mark makes very, very good blades. I've seen them for myself. But just contact your local vendor. I'm sure some of them have a very good blades as well. So without further ado, let's take a look what else do we have here. Allen keys that we'll be using in a while. Um, okay, we'll just keep this here. So this is the old WK3 saber. Um, 89 sabers in general makes very good hilt. Very good weight to it. Comes with a we got this blade plug, uh, which I've modded to make it a new pixel one. Very good finishing. Very solid saber, but I do have to put in our effort to send down some of the internal parts where the fitting will be good. Like for example, this we got this metal plate over here. Um, doesn't fit nicely. I have to send it down to make sure it, it gives a good. Can I speak with you? Cookie feel. Oops. So I turn it on. Um, this chassis is designed by me. Um, Genesis Saber, so you can find it in my Etsy shop. So I've printed this in um, in a translucent like um, filament, so you can see that the crystal chamber will shine through the shine shine through the chassis itself. So there's an embossment embossment of um, the this is the Rebel Alliance logo over here. So you can see it from the angle. Um, crystal chamber powered by uh, RGB LED and kill switch, uh, two point one M recharge port. So to turn it on, just twist it. You don't have to remove it. Can I speak with you? Right. So right now we are on layers font. So let's go ahead and change it. Sound bank selection. Resume SD card system menu. Exit menu. This is General Kenobi. Hello there. So let's start with General Kenobi since this is his like saber. And turn back in. Very good tolerance, just a bit of lithium grease on it and it spins very very nicely. Top button is power on. 28mm bass speaker. Smooth swing. And this is the Pixel Blade Plug. And CFX itself allows you to change on twist. So you can see that it changes together a bit. Very nice. Very, very loud. So let's change to another font. Let's run through the fonts. This is General Kenobi. So this comes with CFX. K Sith, Rogue Vader. Trailer! Unstable by Cabophonics. Ray Skywalker. Ray, um, Cabophonics again. Audio player. Ray Skywalker. You were right before. So one thing to note is that um, while I'm bundling these fonts with it, um, I will be rebuying all these things and give them full credit for their fonts. Very very good fonts made. So whatever price you're paying for this saber, whatever fonts I put inside here, basically the ones by Casey and Cabophonics, I'll be buying back. Um, on their shop. This is what I've been doing for all the sabers I sell. So definitely I'm not ripping them off of their hardware. So let's go ahead and let's, let's just change out the blade plug. 
So there are two Allen keys over here. The bigger one is for the cover tech wheel, which we will not be using this time. There's a cover tech wheel that comes with the saber over here. And at the tip of the emitter, you can change out. You can see it better this way. Like twist, the, the pommel should pop up. No force is required. So this is the one that I converted to a new pixel blade plug. So yeah. Right. Good fit. Pull it down. And then the over tighten. It's a short blade. It's not positioned properly yet. There we go. Very loud. Very nice unstable effect. And I always like this font. Sound bank selection. This is my favorite font right now. So CFX, if you double click while the blade is off, you'll play the song track. Is it double click or is it uh, single click? I can't so the skip track. Oh, it's whole. So this is the same for Rogue One. It's very nice. Alright, um, that's all for the demo, but let's, let's, um, let me show you some parts of, uh, let's turn it off first, turn, turn off, just twist it, and it'll be off. So, to access the USB and the rise of the Christopher Focal X, Christopher Focal 10, you can see there is a USB port inside here, which I'll be providing the, U the l shape right angle USB cable for. So, here it is. Like what I showed you just now, you just plug it inside here, it will fit, and that's where you access your rice. And to add on to that, um, while you there's no reason for you to access, you can you can ex you do have access to the speakers from the back of the pommel. You can open it this way. Um, this is a 20 mm speakers provided by Genesis Sables again in my shop and just I designed a chassis just that you can twist and you can remove it so it's connected using a micro GST, con GST connector and if you do not like the speaker you can change it to something else that um, you fancy some of them have very good reviews on the what is it some base speaker I can't remember which, which is the one this but this itself is very loud um, should be good enough so you can see the tolerance of the sabers by 89 sabers it spins so nicely very very good finishing so there you have it i hope you like it um this is the cfx version i know some of you have been asking about if there's going to be a profi version out um 
I have intentions of designing a chassis for it, but as of now, I have not figured out how to overcome the issue where I have to access the two buttons of the Profi because uh, the Profi board sits here and this part um, is a bit difficult to reach. While you can remove this part, um, both of my buttons are actually connected using another um, micro GST connector so you can remove this very easily, but um, I have yet to make sure that I can access the buttons from there. So, I'm thinking about it, but I have not really progressed much on that yet. So, that's all. Hope you like it. And subscribe to my shop. I do place put some updates on some of the saber designs that I'm working on, like Sidious, like Leia, Princess Layers, LGT Sabers. Um, that will also be out there soon. Hope you like it. Thank you.